Hello everyone, it's me, Buck Beak, and this is the New England Patriots and Buffalo Bills second matchup, and I hope you guys enjoy. David, this crowd is ready as their guys get set to match up between the Buffalo Bills and the New England Patriots. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gunn, and Charles, we look at this Patriots team entering play. They come off a disappointment last time out that put an end to their modest three-game win streak. That's right. We lost to the Miami Dolphins in Miami, but honestly, we rarely win against the Dolphins in Miami, so now we got the Buffalo Bills in the rain once again, the second straight game in a row with rain. Ooh, look at that nice run. Ooh, 18 yards, I think. Yeah, 18 yards exactly. That's right, week 8. That 10 to 7 finish. I think they said Foxborough, but they meant. Orchard Park because we are playing in Foxborough right now. Now Jones. That's a nice underneath pass for a first down. Okay, gain of 11. Nice. Okay, so this is a little bit later in the first quarter. And as you can see, it's 4th and 4. So, I think right here, we're going to be going for a field goal for the first points of the game. I'm pretty sure. Okay, yeah, we are going for the field goal to get some points to start anyway. Three nothing. That'll work. Okay, so here we are just a little bit later in the first quarter. And the Buffalo Bills are driving down the field to try to get some points. So let's see what happens. They'll run on first down with Singletary. They've been running it on us. I mean, I gotta admit, and this is only the first time they've had the ball this whole game so far. And they're down there near the scoring range. Eight yards the tally on that first down run. Here's second and two. Allen gonna give this one to Singletary. Oh, good stop. That's a really good stop considering. We talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. So it's third down and one. Will they make it? No. An incompletion. So that's fourth down and one. You would think they would want to tie it up right now. But I see we have some options. Oh, they're going to go for it. So let's see what happens here. They're going to run for it. 
Mmm, they're gonna be stopped. I don't know why. Okay, now we're into the second quarter there a little bit. And we still have a 3 nothing game. And yeah, in that first quarter, I don't know why Buffalo chose to go for it uh, when they could have tied it up 3-3. Three, three, but we currently have the football right now, and let's see what's going on. Play number 7 now coming up on the drive. Third and 5. Looking to throw, Jones. Oh, slipped out of the pocket. Oh, nice catch. Nice catch, man. Okay, right here, we failed to get the first down, so it looks like uh, I'm going to be going for another field goal just to get some more points. Yeah, right there, as you can see, we failed to get the first down, so it's fourth and four. Swing it on left into the flat, complete, but really nice open field tackling. And they played that one like a great boxer. They were on their toes on that one. They weren't back on their heels reacting to the play. So they saw it, he came right for it, and made a nice tackle for lost yardage. Okay, so we got it 6 nothing. Okay, so we're back and we're in the third quarter. And yeah, as you can see, the score is still 6 to nothing. So yeah, nothing else happened in that second quarter. So let's see what happens here. Damn, that's a nice run. As much as I don't like Buffalo, I got to admit, that was a pretty good run. I mean, we gave that to them pretty much. They're getting ready to go to work now. Prime real estate after that last run found his spot. He picked up nice yardage, didn't he? And now he's got him knocking on the door of the red zone. We're back again, the third quarter, and... Can Buffalo finally get some points? Let's find out. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move. First and ten. Allen gonna throw. Fight. Ooh, pressure. Oh no, he's gone. And they'll work it inside the 15 yard line before it's all. That was a pretty nice run by him. It does the job for sure. extending the play, but you know there's some really upset defenders on that one. They thought that they had him. Instead, he was coated in Teflon and got away. Okay, so we're still on the same drive here. So let's see if Buffalo can get their first set of points in this on this drive. They have yet to get a score. Oh, you better get rid of the uh oh. Okay. Well, that was a big mistake on their part. He should have just thrown the football away. Okay, in this part, we're still in the third quarter, 
and as you can still see not much is happening on the scoreboard so can the Buffalo Bills do anything on this drive to give them points let's see Ooh, nice that was a pretty good move on the tight ends part yeah both offenses have really been struggling in this game due to the rain and both have pretty good defenses so I mean if you saw that last game the final score was uh, literally 10 to 7 both teams scored 17 points exactly and we only have six points in this one thus far. On this part, the Buffalo Bills are still continuing to try to get some points. And this is a third down and six. Can our defense stop them? Let's find out. No, they don't stop him from picking up that first down, though. A little too late on that, buddy. Yeah, he's pissed off. <laughs> He brought the lumber on that play. Give my man a little lot of credit for taking the hit and possessing the football. And picking up the first down. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game. Yeah, they are still looking for their first score of anything. And a short gain here down to the... So, as you saw on that last play, it blew up in our faces on the third and six. So this is second and nine, so can the defense finally get Buffalo off the field? Let's find out. There he goes on a run. Ooh, oh, they're going to blow his run up for a loss of two. Yeah, for a loss of two. So that last play blew up for Buffalo, and it's now third down and 11, so can we finally stop them and make them kick a field goal, possibly? Let's find out. Uh, he's wide open. No, that's going to be a first down. Man, they've been killing us with plays like that, especially in the second half. Really smart move right there by the both of them to connect on that uh, first down. Defense. That's that's pretty good. I think we might be number one or number two, in fact. Okay, they stopped them there on second and goal. So we got third and goal. This is where they tend to burn us on fourth, not fourth, but third downs or third and goal. So let's see if we can finally get lucky and maybe stop them, but I don't know. Oh, there he goes. That, that That's a touchdown. So they're going to officially have the lead with a one-point kick. Come on, defense. You got one job. But that was a pretty damn good run by him, I got to admit. Pretty good. Absolutely. And I'll let him have his moment. Jason Myers. 
Pierce now for the extra point. Oh, we tried to block it. There we go. So the Buffalo Bills are officially leading 6-7 to seven as we're going to go into the fourth quarter. Okay, guys, here we are. We're back, and we're pretty much at the beginning of the fourth quarter, and the Buffalo Bills are leading by one point exactly, 7-6, so let's see how the Patriots respond. Some good games going on in the early window. This might be the best of the bunch. They go play action here on first down. Oh, look at that. Oh, ho, 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 ho. That was pretty impressive. Oh, baby. Yeah. I okay, so we're back in the fourth quarter. And I've had a little bit of a somewhat of a difficulty trying to get the ball into the end zone to get the lead back ever since we got down there with that 48-yard pass attempt. And right now, it's 3rd and 11, and can we get the lead? Can I get the lead, and can I, you know, get it in the end zone? Let's see. 3rd and 11. 3rd and 11. Let's see. Play action. Okay, he's going to throw it. No, he can't quite get it. Obviously, as you guys saw... I did not pick up the 3rd and 11, so it's 4th and 11, and right here, I think about kicking the field goal to take a 2-point lead, but you'll see. Ultimately, I decided to do di something different, and I'm sitting here thinking about it for a good minute, uh, but ultimately, I end up calling a timeout because I changed my mind. Yeah. On this part, after I take a timeout, I decided that I'm going to go for it on the 4th and 11. And I know that's a risky, bold decision, but I'm thinking to myself, I'm only down by a single point. I still have a lot of time in the 4th quarter, and if something happens and if I don't get it, I'll still have plenty of time to go back down there and correct that mistake. So let's see if I made the right choice or if this was a mistake. Let's find out. One score down, here we go. On 4th and 11. As expected, they're going okay, alright. Oh, got it. Got it on the 4th and 11. So that turns into a five-point lead. On this part, after I picked up the touchdown and got the lead on that amazing fourth and 11 play, I decided to go for two points to make it a seven-point game. So, did I make the right choice? Let's find out. I took another risk, and does a second risk pay off for me? Let's find out. Two points, people. Yep, we got the two points. So it's 14-7. to seven. Okay, so we're back in the fourth quarter, and we just got a touchdown and a two-point conversion. So now, all of a sudden, we have a seven-point lead, 14-7. to seven. And the Buffalo Bills are going to try to get back into this game and potentially try to tie it up. Let's see what happens. And when they see openings, take their shots. Second and third down to fall back on. So after the incompletion on first. 
first and second and ten. From the gun, it's Oh, interception, baby. There you we go. That's the Josh Allen I love to see, if I must say so. Okay, so we're back with it, and we got the football back, but, you know, we just ended up punting it back to Buffalo, and now they have another opportunity to try to do something with it. Can they do anything positive with the football in their hands? Let's find out. You have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Just don't want to attack. We'll see how they attack him here. Oh, you better watch out. Uh-oh, that's a fumble. Going to take it to the house. Uh-oh, they took it to the house. What are you doing, Josh Allen? <laughs> took it to the house. Touchdown. That's 20 to 7. It was huge. Gave him a comfortable lead. Okay, we are back, and as you guys can see, the score is 21 to 10. They did score, but they probably, sh you know, should have taken a risk, but they didn't late in the game, and pretty much. Not much happens between where we're at right now and after my team after my team took it to the house. So can Buffalo make this a little bit more interesting under two minutes? Let's find out. Okay, he's moving around back there. He's running. Hey, my team has no reason to take no timeouts. We got the lead. Uh-oh. Ooh, he broke off there. Uh-oh. Should have went out of bounds, dude. You made a big mistake. You should have went out of bounds. Oh, should have went out of bounds. Again, both of them made a big mistake. Okay, they took a timeout. But they definitely should have went out of bounds two different times. So, I don't know what they were thinking there. Twenty-three seconds, twenty-two seconds. Oh, uh oh, they went on down there, but they took way too much time. I think that's something that might cost them in this one. Their clock management was really bad, and then plus, Buffalo turned it over four different times. So, oh. There we go. Almost got it in there. Second and goal. Uh, 14 seconds left. They have no timeout, so they got to hurry and get it. Oh, whoops. That's going to do it. There's no way they can stop the clock. Yep, that's going to do it. So there you go. Time ran out on Buffalo and we win 21 to 10. Only if they wouldn't have turned the football over and if they had better clock management, maybe they would have had a chance to beat us. But yeah, they had those two big problems overall. Four takeaways. Well, four turnovers for them we took it away four times. So that's a W for us. And yeah, I'll be back again with uh, more NFL. I hope you guys enjoyed and have a good one and a safe one out there, everybody.